whilst trying to conceive, there's so many different foods and we're always being told what to eat and what not to eat. So I've written a really in-depth blog post about things that you should be including or trying to include into your diet whilst trying to conceive. And the great thing about that is it's gonna help you along once you conceive and get pregnant, these foods are also pretty essential. So you're gonna be kind of sort of your whole journey. Uh, the one, well, let's start at the beginning, folic acid. If you're trying to conceive now, you've probably got a supplement that's actually also a lot of foods that are rich in folic acid. So, for my entire list, go to my blog post. Uh, the link is in the description, but I'm going to go through a few now and give you some tips about them. So, folic acid, nuts, avocado, dark green, citrus fruits, whole grains, lentils, they're all packed with folic acid. And what I do personally, I will cook uh, my whole grains, so that would be something like quinoa or brown basmati rice. And then I'll side it with lentils and make a salad, include citrus fruits in there. I even cut up some oranges and, and top it with nuts and avocado, and it's super delicious. The next one is proteins, which is really essential. Um, if you don't eat meat, um, you need to eat a little bit more of these kind of alternatives, which has actually been found to, when you source food um, alternatives to proteins in meats while trying to conceive, there has been positive results and doctors are now pushing a little bit more for the proteins in um, vegetable sources and, and other sources rather than the meat. Wild salmon is a great one. Beans, black beans have a lot of protein, so get your black beans cooking. Uh, eggs and hummus. So these can really be great snacks as well. You could have your hummus with some carrots, um, the black beans and a nice citrus salad. So as you can see, I'm kind of going to my folic acid, bringing that into the proteins and mixing them up a little bit on the plate. Um, Another great uh, great one is your omega-3. So chia seeds have omega-3. So if you make a shake, uh, a nice shake with kale and, and a lot of different things. Actually, I have five, um, five shakes and smoothies that include all these ingredients and they're free. So I'll, I'll add that in the description too because I include chia seeds in that. Um, what else? Walnuts, almonds, olive oil, just make sure when you're choosing your nuts that they are raw uh, and not roasted or salted. So remember just keeping that, that healthy mindfulness in mind while you're choosing your ingredients. Uh, and with olive oil, use it while it's, don't cook your olive oil, you can lightly saute in it, but I wouldn't recommend frying because it takes, it changes the composition of the oil and becomes a little bit rancid. So olive oil when it's in its raw, cold state. Uh, iron, lean red meat, tomatoes, spinach, uh, you know, you can make a, I don't eat meat, but you can make a lean red meat salad and add some tomatoes and then pick some of the folic acid and the proteins and just mix it up. So on your plate, you'll have your carbohydrates, your proteins and your fats from these ingredients that I'm talking about. And it becomes quite easy to, to follow once you know the, all the different things that you should be eating. Another great one are the detoxification superfoods. So, superfoods are my favorite. Um, they're great, they can be added and they're usually quite delicious. So, dark chocolate, and they're really great. It has a lot of iron um, in there as well. So, dark chocolate, just make sure you're around 80% of cacao uh, because they have sometimes some added sugar, so you wanna go for high um, cacao content. Pomegranates, I sprinkle these either on my natural yogurt. Uh, over salads is so good and it sweetens it up a bit. If you mix pomegranate with avocado, you're gonna love me for the rest of your life. It's delicious. Uh, asparagus, uh, what I do with my asparagus is I saute it with a little bit of onions and garlic and then I add it to an omelet and it is really good. So I highly recommend that. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Um, are great, again, sprinkled on salad. So basically it's about getting a little bit creative. The more colorful your plate, the better. Make sure you have something colorful um, on there so that will usually be the salad. And you'll find that by changing your the foods that you're eating now, if it's not kind of in this, in what I've said, um, you're gonna feel really good. You're gonna have more energy. You're gonna be assisting in your, your fertility because it's gonna balance your hormones out. Uh, yeah, and it's really, you're going to feel good and, and yeah, you're going to thank me for it later. So, 
yeah, that's about it really, I think, with your foods to, to eat. If you have any questions, just leave it in the description and I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye. Hi, thanks for watching. For more updates and news, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below and I will bring you great news if you're trying to conceive and help you on your journey.